This week we're going to be doing a picture inspired by architecture and this is the photograph that I've chosen which is a street scene in Venice and it's got lots of architectural details on it. You've got arches here and you've got the windows, little shutters um, and various different roof lines. And so the idea of what I'm going to do here is to look at all the shapes within my piece and to try and concentrate on the lights and darks to create a plan which then can go forward to becoming a painting possibly next week. But this week we're just going to work in black and white. So I'm going to use charcoal um, rather than pencil this week to get some lights and darks in there and midtones. So using my photograph as reference for the side of me and then getting my box of charcoal, which is um, some willow charcoal that um, I bought from uh, Nigel Glaze, who does very interesting charcoal pictures. I'll refer you to his website. Um, I'm going to start blocking in the darkest of areas. So as you can see on my picture here, got a big dark section. I'm using um, a paper with a bit of tooth and that by that we mean not a completely smooth paper. So it's this is a from a watercolour pad. Uh, it's actually quite a cheap watercolour pad. Okay so I'm blocking in the darkest of the areas first and it will hopefully create a a fairly abstract piece. If you don't like the idea of using charcoal, you can use some really soft pencils. What I've done is drawn it up and then I've got a mask of paper on the top so that I don't smudge the edges of the piece. So I'm putting in the darkest of tones first. So each of these openings represents a shutter and a window opening. And the thing with charcoal, you can actually use a putty rubber or an ordinary rubber to shape up or create some negative spaces. So I'll give you an example of that along the edge. So if you've got a piece dark section, for example, let's just use this as a sample. This is just ordinary paper here. So you've got a dark section here. What you can do is use your putty rubber to score through your dark section to create some highlights. So this is what's interesting about using putty rubber or just use it to lift sections. Now there's a lot of dust on this, you wouldn't necessarily blow it out of the way if you didn't want to. You can obviously tap that away into a bin or just leave it to the end, um, vacuum it up, whatever. So work your way through and put in the darkest of areas. So it's going to be quite loose it's going to be quite free and abstract because i'm trying to concentrate on simple shapes so i can get a sponge rather than my fingers and work it into the grain of the paper like so that's something i can do it's making it lighter you can also use what's left on the sponge to sponge into other areas if that's what i want to do So we're using the combination of putty rubber, sponge and an ordinary eraser if you want to. This one on the end of the pencil. So let's see how that ordinary eraser might be useful. So I've got the detail here at the bottom of the arch. So if I put that in as a mid tone using the side of the, the charcoal. So I'm going to 
loosely put that in here up to the edge of where I think the shadow is going. And then what I'll do is I'll actually get my sponge just to take that away to, to create more of a mid-tone. And then I'm going to get my smaller rubber and rub away this highlight, which represents this highlight here. So this is how you can work through and shape your work. You're shaping your work, your the objects and, the, and creating highlights with the eraser by taking something away. Okay. So we'll speed up the next section and you can see how it develops. So now I've got a little bit more of the um, charcoal down, I can start playing around with removing some of the charcoal for the highlights. So I'm simply looking at the highlights on the, on the piece and taking those away with the putty rubber. So you really have to notice the difference between what's lighter, what's darker and, and work around. Um, these areas here are obviously sharper, you need a smaller eraser, but the putty rubber should be fine for these larger sections. So once I'm happy with all the rubbing out areas, um, you could do a lot more than this, but once I'm happy with all those little highlight areas that I've taken out, then I'll start working with um, a soft pencil 4B I've got here, it could go a lot softer, and a, a soft charcoal pencil, just to get in some of the um, smaller details that you wouldn't be able to um, get into with the charcoal itself. I have actually got some tiny pieces of charcoal here, which I'll use as well, just sm much smaller pieces. So I'm gonna get all the much sharper, um, darker areas in with these um, finer, finer implements now. <laughs> 